right, guys, I'm kind of feeling a push to do this today because reasons, but um, I want to talk to you about Loki and depression. And yeah, I know I always get to these videos at the end of the day. I'm sorry about that. But um, I had a really bad day today. You guys know I have depression. I have one of those days where if you have depression, it's bad enough. You have days where you just straight up don't want to get out of bed. Because there's, there's no reason to. And Loki was actually really concerned. He's like, okay, um, if you're that bad, if it's, you know, that dark and deep, I'm not going to push you. Just go ahead, take take the time in bed. And we went back and forth about why I was so upset. And a lot of it actually had to do with getting a gaming system. Now, to normal people, they will be like, how could you be upset over good fortune? Um... I did not have the best childhood. So when I'm suddenly given things by people that say you deserve it, I don't know how to handle it. So it brought a lot of that back. And two, I was like, I didn't feel worthy of it. I didn't feel like I deserved to have anything nice. I didn't think I deserved to have a gaming system or anything I might, you know, enjoy. And I know that sounds horrible, but, you know past trauma and Loki was working with me and he says you know what if you really don't want this system if you're really upset about it I'm not gonna make you do it we'll just we'll keep on keeping on I'm not gonna make you do it because you're you're ready to have a breakdown and you don't have to do it and so we went back and forth for a little while and I got up and I intended to just you know, watch some creepy pastas because it's calmed me down and make me feel better when I'm depressed. And maybe eat a little. Like when I'm depressed, I won't eat. I just I won't eat. I get too upset and I can't eat. So I come down and I'm like watching these pastas and stuff. And just something kind of nudged me and I thought, well, I'll be okay with the money. It wasn't like not having the money, but I'll go ahead and get the system, and I was actually kind of getting excited about getting the system, so I went ahead, and I got it, and I had, like, a little bit of a happier time. I think I'm manic-depressive. I've never been diagnosed, but I'll have, like, it's, like, the deepest, darkest depression you could ever have, where it's just terrible, and then all of a sudden, I'm, like, almost hysterically happy, and then I'm back into the depression, and this can, like, change within a couple minutes, and... Then I thought, well, you know what? I've got a settlement check. It wasn't much. It was like 50 bucks. And I've got some other stuff. I'm going to go over to the bank. And I'm going to just like put a little padding there. And I put a little padding there. And I thought, you know what? I, I can't give in to the depression. Because I thought of a character um, in a book I like. Um, this was Skullduggery Pleasant Resurrection. And the character is Valkyrie Kane. And she finally had her PTSD explode on her and she was so depressed in the book that a lot of the days she didn't get out of bed it just wasn't worth the effort and I thought you know I know that's I've been told by doctors that's why I have as well because of the abuse I went through and he looked at my mother and he said she has it too and he said what did you two go through because I, I think he knew but at the time you didn't talk about it and I'm talking like the 80s at the time and in the culture of her family you didn't talk about it and, um, when you're around that level of violence for that long, you just, you kind of get shell-shocked. But anyhow, back to today, um, I went out and I did this stuff, and Loki goes, why not get yourself a little bit of lunch? So I got, like, not a big fancy lunch, I got a Lunchable and I got a soda. And then I went and I window shopped, and I didn't buy anything else, because I was being careful. I came back home, and I thought, you know what, I got this rig to get an Oculus Rift, and I still didn't feel like I deserved or needed or anything else about the Oculus Rift, but I thought, you know what, my uncle thought I deserved this stuff, and uh, as hard as it was for me, I ordered it. It was like actually this big traumatic event. I was happy, but I was like ready to break down and cry because I'm not used to people thinking I deserve anything. It's like, no, my... Father only became a nice human being when he was dying of cancer, and because of the personality I have, I stayed with him. And, um, my aunts have been so bad, I've, like, 
just not been around them anymore. Because even when I tried to share with the one ant, uh, I did this responsible adult thing of replacing my roof. I did it wrong, and I'm stupid, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know what? It's finally totally enough. I, I have totally had enough. Uh, I can't stand your abuse. I, I can see why suicide runs in my family, because a lot of the people in my family are emotionally abusive. And so I thought, you know... I'm going to do this thing. So I went and I got that too. And that'll be coming in. And it, it'll impact this channel. Because I should be able to do stuff a lot nicer. Because this computer is like. Ee! And I should be able to. Enjoy myself with the Oculus Rift. Because um, one thing Loki said. He said you know. Um, I'm sorry I can't do more for you. Uh. But, you know, consider this all the vacations I've never taken you on and can never manifest the money for. And I, It was so sweet because, you know, um, Loki only wants the best for us. And I used to love to travel, love, love, love to travel. And ever since my father died and then my mother passed... Uh, I, I haven't gone on vacation in about a decade. I mean, I'll call, like, going shopping a vacation because I never get out of the house unless I go to the park. Um, and that's not, I'm not telling you guys that so you're like, oh my god, that poor thing. But it's just kind of like the reality um, operating in. And Loki knows it's, like, depressing to me. And when you already have depression, it just kind of adds to it. And so, it was, like... Depression works like that, and Loki can help you work through it, because if you have depression, you know what it's like. You can be given this unexpected gift, and then, like, instead of, you can be happy, and then, like, the depression will find a way to, like, be like, oh, God, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. And it makes perfect sense when you're depressed, because that's just how your mind works. It's something you're, at least in my case, that I was born with, like, needing the glasses and having a heart armor and all the other stuff I had. It's just something I was born with. And I've always been quiet. And I've always been like a little, uh, people would have called it gloomy or whatever. But, um, you know, when you have depression and you work with Loki, he, he knows usually when to talk to you and when not to. When to give you signs, when not to give you signs. Um, he knows what it's like for you. He can, you know, empathize and I think sympathize as well with your suffering. I think the gods suffer at times like we do because um, how can you help somebody through something if you've never been through it? Um, unless you're trained as a psychiatrist or psychologist, of course. Um, how can you help someone through it? And, um, he's very gentle at those times. And, um, Ogu also, if you work with Ogu, Ogu is really gentle at those times. Because you, you basically have, like, you know, that thousand yard stare. And you're, like, shutting down. And he, he's very gentle because... He's very good for working with uh, people who've come back from war, people that have post-traumatic stress disorder from other stuff. Um, you don't just have to have been in war. You can get it from anything. Uh, and, you know, he's good to work with. Any god you work with that loves you should be good with it. But some of them are kind of like, um, it's kind of like going to a specialist. Loki is especially good, I think, with dealing with the depression because uh, he can really empathize with people. He really likes people, and he loves people, and um, he's usually the guy that if you're like ang in that angry stage of depression that you want to shout at somebody, he'll usually be on a pretty even kill because he knows you're in so much pain and you can shout at him. I mean, you feel like terrible like two seconds after, but uh, he, he is not gonna smite you in his holy wrath because you're depressed and lashing out. He understands it's something you totally can't control. And I wanted to share that with you because he, he's really good with working with depression. Um, I can't give you any specifics because everybody handles depression differently. 
Um, what works for me might not work for you. It might make things worse. It might make things better. I don't know. Um, I just try to take it one day at a time. Um, like they say in AA, I just, I, you know, one foot in front of the other, one day at a time. Uh, sometimes it's one moment at a time. Uh, sometimes the depression's pretty bad and then you have like good days and then you're going to have not so good days. And depression can act up, at least in my case, like any time like extreme emotions come up or extreme change comes, the depression can suddenly show up and go, guess who's here to ruin the party? So yeah, and Loki can help me through those times and he can help you through those times too. And please, you know, don't just rely on Loki. There are hotlines. There are people out there that can help you even if, you know, if you're low income, no income. Uh, there are people that will work with you, um, you know, please get help if you need it, don't just, you know, it's like faith healing, uh, yeah, go ahead and do that, there's nothing wrong with it, but, you know, don't give up on the medical community either, um, but yeah, he, he helped me today, and I was like, all through the day, I was like really low, and then like really hyper high, and then like really low, and then like really hyper high. So it was just one of those days, and I don't get them every day, thankfully, but it was just one of those days. And Loki knew when to be quiet, and he knew when to talk to me, and he knew when I needed a hug, and he knew when I needed to talk it out, or just um, kind of work it out in my own given speed. So, yeah, I hope that helps you guys, and again, please, if you need help, make sure you get it, don't just, especially if you're, like, brand new to working with Loki, um, don't just think he's going to come in and magically make it all better, he's told me a million times he wishes he could do that, but, you know, it's, it's not like I say one prayer to Loki and then everything's magically better, Sometimes it's talking for like an, a couple hours or so and then like I'm just I'm functional enough to get out of bed and go about my day. And then sometimes I he helps me and I feel a lot better and sometimes nothing's going to help on those days. So please do not think Loki is like a magic bullet for depression. He can help a lot, but please don't like make Loki like your only source of help. Um, do whatever helps your depression. Everybody finds something different helps their depression, so please do that. And um, if you guys liked what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm okay, by the way. I'm just, like, at the down end again right now. I'm just, like, it happens some days. I'm, like, really up and then really down, and, like, right now I'm kind of, like, down. But I'll be okay. Uh, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.